In this video, we will learn how to spin an object in Adobe Substance 3D Stager. As you can see on screen, I've got a milk jug spinning, and this was created in Stager. So let's see how to do this. First, you open up a new file or your existing file, and let's bring in an object, and I will bring in this uh, shampoo bottle. Just click that and get it onto the stage. There we go. All right, and you can see, rotate this around a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now let's zoom in on this. And first thing we're going to do is set a camera. Get that set, and let's move that into a nice position. About there, let's tilt it forward a little bit. That's good. Let's uh, change the background just so that we can see that cap a little bit better. And we'll just make the background white or lighter. Go to environment, background, make that lighter like so. Let's go all the way up there. Okay. And we're not going to put any textures on the bottle. We just want to demonstrate um, the rotation here or the turntable feature as it is called. Uh, and I think that's pretty good. Maybe a little bit smaller there. There we go. Okay, so we have our camera, we have our bottle. So we select our bottle and we can see that we have this option over here to animate or animation. And you have two um, options here. You have orbit and you have spin. And orbit is moving the camera around the object and spin is rotating the object. And we're just gonna do spin for our exercise. So let's turn spin on, and then you can see that the options are here. And without doing anything, you can see the timeline uh, menu down at the bottom of the, the window. Uh, if that's not uh, expanded, you can just bring that up. And let's see, let me move this out of the way. There we go. Okay, and so let's just scrub this to get that screen back to where it should be. There we go. Um, and then we want to look at some of the options here. Uh, we have the target offset, and this is where the pivot is. So you can have the pivot um, uh, at zero, 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 which I'm going to leave, or you can change it if you want it to move where it's going to pivot. And so let's just move it out here and see how that turns now. And you can see it's spinning around that pivot area where we moved it on the Y axis. And the other axes, axes, they, uh, there's no reason to change those because it only spins from the X. So your duration, uh, three seconds, right? You can see the duration down here at the bottom, three seconds. And you can change that to make it longer. Um, the rotation, you can have it rotate a full 360, which we are. You can have it stop um, and not rotate the full uh, 360 degree. Um, what we're going to do 360. And if you wanted to reverse, you can click the reverse. Uh, and the linear changes the uh, inertia or the, um, I think it's interpolation of how it spins, like the, the force of the spinning. So let's just do a test real quick. So we'll hit play and it spins uh, as normal as expected. So let's stop and then change this to uh, quadr quadri quadratic if that's how you pronounce that. And it feels a little clunky. You can see it's slowing down, so it's, that's better. There you go. Uh, let's try to test out another one, exponential. Okay, this one, it's a nice spin there. And let's see one more, elastic. And of course, you can test all of these out, see how, the, um, how they're different. All right, so let's just go back to linear, which is the feature that's used uh, the most often. Um, all right, so we have all of this, and we can stop this, and we can render now. We can, we can render. That's really all that it takes. So let's go to render, and um, you can render, of course, ray tracing or real time. And ray tracing takes longer, so we're just going to do real time for this example. You can leave all of this as is. Uh, we're going to render from the camera, and you can give this a name, and we'll just call this uh, test. Um, it's going to be on a desktop, and you have your different formats here. And this is a PNG, but we, of course, want the animation. And so you can set this to GIF. And when this saves out or renders out, it will save every frame and the final animation. 
So we'll, sh we'll show you what that looks like. So let's go ahead and render. And you see it's moving pretty quickly because it's set on real time. Just a few more seconds. Okay, and then processing. And that's complete. So let's find that folder out on the desktop. And we'll take a look at that. There we go. All right, so this is the folder. And as you can see, all of the individual frames, so let's get that out. All of the individual frames are there. And you can see these. I can just scroll through them. And it's not spinning. I'm actually doing this with the arrow key. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see there's the GIF down there. And that's how you do it. Of course, you can add your um, textures, materials, any graphics, and render that up. Thank you again for watching uh, this video. And I hope you found it helpful.